one ticket for Target Earth, please. Nap. That didn't just happen. One ticket for Target Earth, thank you. You're too old for this movie. Ah, I see. No, I'm not. What are you? 43, 44? 48. Whoa, too old. I'm not, and can I have a ticket, please? What are you doing here in the middle of the day? To have my horse shot. That's gonna help. One ticket for Target Earth, please. Why aren't you at work? Well, this is work of a kind. I'm a writer. That sounds like make believe uppy. It's not make believe uppy. I pay my mortgage with money I earn from writing. What do you write? Well, plays mostly. I like plays. I'm more chuffed than God should rightly allow. One ticket, please. Why would a man your age want to sit through 105 minutes of this rot? Well, because... just sell me the ticket. Aren't you a little embarrassed? About what? About wanting to see a movie like this, your age. No, I've enjoyed movies like this since I was a lad. And I still enjoy them, so why shouldn't I still see them? Because you're nearly 50. I'm 48 and a quarter, that's hardly 50, jeez. It's about aliens trying to take over the Earth. Yes, the advertising has been unambiguously specific. It's also called Target Earth. 90% of the dialogue is in the first half hour. Well, people who like movies like this kind of just assume that. And after that, it's just loud noises and flashing images. A scrumptious cinematic cocktail in this viewer's opinion. You're too old. You should be in an office. Well, you're not in an office. This is my office. No, it isn't. It's a small booth used to sell, might I repeat that, sell tickets to members of the public who walk up to said booth and ask to buy them. Some of them with the proceeds earned from rising plays. Name The Fire That Never Burned. I love that club. I am intoxicated with your approval. Sell me a ticket. Settle down. They're having a nice chat. And I'm actually trying to do you a favour. Shouldn't you be doing your employer a favour by trying to sell the odd ticket? <laughs> this piece of nonsense. I'll sell out in all the evening sessions, don't you worry. We'll be full of 15 to 23 year olds, all male, all smelling like they've just swam four laps of a pool filled with Lynx Africa, and all snorting profusely at all 17 euphemisms a writer has generously included in the script for tits. Now, what in donkey ass hell are you doing here? Sad. Sad man. I like movies. I like action movies. I like action movies involving aliens. I really like action movies involving aliens trying to conquer our home planet. And I really, really like action movies involving aliens trying to conquer our home planet that I can get into. They're the really great ones. You don't get many these days. You don't care if someone you know, someone who knows you as the writer of The Fire That Never Burned, sees you walking out of Target Earth. No, and they're not going to at this rate. It's about to start. Oh, ads, trailers. You've got time for a skin graft. Why the fuck would you say that? I don't like cuss words. You said tits. Borderline. One titting adult tittery ticket, please. Come on. You should be seeing something, I don't know, with subtitles. Something from Iran. Very popular at the moment, Iranian films. Yes, I heard that Deathly Still Concrete Road nearly knocked Street Dance 3 off top spot a couple of weeks ago. It was a very nice film. I missed it. Complex. It intrigued. I bet an Iranian director could do something with this conversation. You're too old to be watching this tribe. Maybe it is tripe. Maybe I've had a hard week. Maybe I have problems that you know nothing about and this film is my one chance to escape, my one chance in the week to be distracted by something utterly fantastical and improbable and amazing and maybe you have no idea why people like me love and adore films like this and maybe you should just shut the hell up and sell me my ticket. You already know what happens. What? What? What happens? You tell me. No, uh, well the aliens attack something, uh, uh... uh well something... A... Remote, a, a lonely farmhouse and a happily married couple live there and well, she brings him a coffee while he works on the track. And... And a random scientist. Who is... Widowed. Go on. Uh, where he is the brother, the, the son of the married couple, hasn't heard from them, investigates, farm scorched, finds alien technology near the burned out track, the government turns up to investigate, random scientist is dragged into the story. Good, good. Aliens start attacking more things. Humans get blown up in bigger and gorier scenes, which are blatantly using 9-11 imagery to make their point, which we find clever and appalling in equal silent measures. The random scientist is forced to work with a ballsy CIA woman to try and discover the aliens weakly. Oh, come on, the obvious bit. Oh, the CIA woman is a single mum with a cute child, possibly blind. Daughter. Blind? As a bat. Yes! Okay, the random scientists and the CIA woman fall in love and they decide to continue the human race, whether they beat the aliens or not. But... But first they need to escape from New York, which is under attack from... From... 
guns that make things blow up, melt, disintegrate in a visually appealing and vaguely original manner. Ooh, okay, random scientist, ballsy CIA woman, discover ancient tablets in the 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 the, 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 the secret vaults in under. Oh, think about it. Under the Lincoln Memorial. Talking with gas. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. The blind daughter can read the tablets like Braille. Because. Because the aliens invented Braille, and even though it's almost criminally tenuous, the blind daughter reads how to defeat the aliens, and they relay this information to the military via a mobile phone, even though every mobile phone tower within a hundred mile radius has been knocked out, which allows the military to defeat the aliens in about five minutes flat. Ballsy CIA woman kisses random scientists. Blind daughter smiles. All his love roll credits. Now, why would you want to see that? I am so stoned. Should have said. Cinema Four. Thank you. Oh, uh, one ticket for Target Earth, please. Fourteen fifty. Thank you.